this right here is the brand new three and a half ton Goodman 14 sear package heat pump. It was installed uh, Sunday, November 11th. And the install is not yet 100% complete. Um, I have to wire it up and straighten this mess out. But that's at a later date. And I still got some sheet metal work to do, but I got rained out and me and my guy that I was working with had to quit. There's the two disconnects and my camera light is on, but that's alright because it is a little dark out here. But here's what the unit looks like. He's down inside it. We got a Copeland scroll tucked away in the back corner and a US Motors fan motor. And something that I've never seen on a good one before is the swept wing fan blades. The uh, install took all day because we had to do duct work under the house and everything. But we were unable to put it zero clearance, but this is considered zero clearance because it's less than two inches off the house and the unit is level. It might not look like it, but believe you me, it is. And uh, here's our trash bucket or trash box. Um, Cover up serial number. There's the data sticker for anyone interested. You see, it's from September of 2018, so this thing's brand new. And, uh, it's got 10 kW heat strips in it and an all aluminum coil. And it's 14 sear 8 HSPF, which is the minimum uh, thing for my area. See, I still got to put that there. I got to get a thing for a thermostat wire. That's just temporary. Um, there's some spare parts. <laughs> these are actually the things for the disconnect because there's obviously no power. If I can get this open. I still got to wire up a disconnect. This is the power for the unit. The uh, heat strips have been wired, but this one here is always oh, giving me trouble see that's been wired coming in from the house but I still got to wire it going out to the unit but uh there's the prongs or whatever you call it the pull out thing a couple of caps for the unit but uh not run caps little plastic caps but anyways um, never mess with disconnects because they are unpredictable I've had them well I've seen them when you go to plug it in, I've seen them arc flash, and it's not fun. But uh, here's what a brand new disconnect looks like. They're both 60 amp non-fused. I prefer non-fused. A lot easier and a lot, um, a lot less bulky. When you start getting the three-phase stuff is when you start getting into the fused stuff. But here's the unit again. And it did have some shipping damage, unfortunately. Um, the bottom corner got smooshed in, so it kind of bent the doors, if you can kind of see it. Um, and I noticed that shipping damage because of this right here, but that's no big deal. But there's the pretty coil. You see right through it, it is a double row coil, I do believe. Uh, let me see here without getting soaking wet. Yeah, that's a double row coil. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, that's definitely a double row coil. That's just no big deal. But again, there's all the insides of it. There's the compressor back in the corner. This thing's got high and low pressure switches. And it does have interval defrost. I set the timer to 90 minutes. It comes factory set to... 60 but I always put them on 90 but yeah the install went fairly smooth the uh, heat kit gave us a little bit of trouble but they always do but we figured it out but anyways hope you enjoyed